allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now please be seated and let's proceed with your morning announcements. Good morning, Somerset. I'm Marla Rodriguez. And I'm Johanna. Today is the National Spanish Honor Society Walkathon from 6 to 10 p.m. The entrance fee is $5. You will be able to earn extra credit and volunteer hours for your participation. Today is Jean Day. Wristbands are on sale for $4. Aeropostale's Teens for Jeans. Bring in your gently used jeans to the main office. Our goal is to collect 2,000 jeans for the homeless. Last day to drop off jeans is February 14th. Non-packaged seniors. Grab bash info is now online. The deadline for the 160 payment is February 21st. Field trip forms are available online or in the activities office. Space is limited. Packaged seniors must be paid in full by the end of February in order to get a ticket. Come to Key Club's charity movie day. Help Key Club raise money to eliminate maternal and neonatal tetanus by attending their movie day on Saturday, February 15th in the elementary cafeteria at 1 p.m. The event is $5 and includes food. Bring extra money to buy a late Valentine's date that is being auctioned off. All money goes to eliminate and volunteer hours will be given. Want to show a child in need that they're loved? Donate a teddy bear for the HOPE program. Bring them to room 312 before or after school. Any type of stuffed animal is welcome. Thank, Thank you, you and have, have a great, great weekend. weekend. Mr. Wilson, uh, congrats on being Teacher of the Week. Thank you. Well, you know, it wasn't really a contest. When you're competing against this level of awesomeness right here, it was a done deal. Fernandez didn't stand a chance. Oh, yeah? Wilson? Whoa, whoa. I'm not Mr. Wilson. I'm, uh, I'm here on his behalf. I'm Mr. Ilson. Alright. So, um, how long have you been a teacher here? Uh, well, Mr. Wilson has been a teacher here for two years. And of all subjects, why do you teach math? You mean Mr. Wilson? No. He decided to teach math because math is the most awesome subject in the world. If you know math, and if you can count to ten, you're a superstar, baby. So, what's your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team is the Miami Heat. Why? Because what you don't know is I'm actually one of the Miami Heat players. I'm the reserve reserve. I'm on the bench that you don't actually see on TV, but that's why. I schooled LeBron one-on-one. -on -one. I did. So, um, a few students here have told me that you do some accents while you teach. Uh, Mr. Wilson does, yes, remember. Mr. Wilson. Oh, right, right. So, yes, but I can do some of those same accents that he does. Which one would you want to hear? Um, I don't know. What do you have? Oh, well, sure enough now. If I was going to do accents, I could start off with something like this. It sounds like I'm from the Emerald Island. It sounds like I'm looking for a bowl of Lucky Charms. And when I find my Lucky Charms, I shoot straight on over to Germany. Nein! If you want to go to Deutschland, there's some place you must go. You must go to Heimlich Wanderbars, Wanderbar factory of super entertainment style. You must love this place because this is the most awesome place in all the world. Crikey, I can also do Australian. When you get Australian now, you gotta get crazy. You gotta get right in somebody's face. You gotta get right like that. It's crazy when you do Australian. Now, Australian is not as hard to do. Yarr, mate, we be doing pirate accents now. I be teaching the kids when they do equations to find the buried treasure that's X, mate, yarr. They be finding X, and when they find X, they know the buried treasure, yarr. But I could also totally do like a gnarly surfer, bro. And then when you're a gnarly surfer, you just kind of close your eyes and just lay back like this, man. Because surfers, no worries, bro. No pain, no fear. Just hanging out, bro. Just cruising, chilling on the beach, man. Chill on the beach. We got our boards. We got the surf beddies. We got the waves, man. It's awesome, bro. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, I, I mean, Mr. Wilson can do a couple accents. Well, thanks, Mr. Will, I mean, Ilson, for the interview. Congratulations. No, get out of here! I'm not done with you, Wilson! They found me! Good 
morning, happy Friday, welcome to Coffee with Disky. As always, I'm Mr. Disky, and my person with a heart full of nothing, Joc Jocelyn's right here. Jocelyn, yes. Jocelyn. There we go. Um, so we're here to just inform you of what you may or may not want to do this Valentine's, because we're one week away, that's seven days, that's seven days that you can make responsible good decisions. Rule number one, do not give out singular roses. Just one. It's not, it's not deep at all. One, it's not deep. Think about it. Do the math. If one rose is supposed to be very important, then multiple roses would show great importance. But Love you, math. yeah, just you went and only bought one. Not very deep. Rule number two: Do not buy overly large teddy bears or any sort of animals of any sort of personification. I honestly get very, very frustrated when I see people walking down. I'm like, what are you gonna do with that when you get home? Here's more of my guarantee: If you do it. Every guy is going to do it. And you know what gets awkward? When your girl walks down the hallway and she sees five other bears of the same size, of the same design, and she thinks, hmm, I must be special since everybody else got one of these. I'm just saying. A little creativity go a long way. Rule number three. Think outside the box with your holiday cards. Holiday cards obviously being Valentine's because that's the holiday that we're talking about. Um, think outside the box. Make your own holiday card. Find your own way to express your emotions to this person because, to be honest, you can easily buy a sentiment, but is that sentiment truly yours? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> it's pretty sad. So go out of your way. Make your own card. You don't have to go over the top. You don't have to burn your initials into the football field with gasoline and a fire. That seems a little bit dangerous to be exact. So, you know, Go out of your way to show how you feel. Let's talk about the day itself. Jasmine, what are your feelings about the actual day of Valentine's Day? It's a Hallmark holiday. Now, that statement may be true, maybe not. It doesn't really matter. Because if you think about it, if it is a Hallmark holiday, well, that's pretty sad because it's named after a person. That person's probably pretty sad that their it's a memory lucky person, has been. Then. <laughs> you know, his reputation just drawn through the ground. Nobody seems to care. He's not really alive anymore, so he doesn't care. <laughs> Just rolling in his grave then. Oh. Um, if that's not it, if it's supposed to be a real interpretation of a day where everyone's supposed to love each other, then why is that not every day? Why isn't every day our Valentine's Day? Why isn't every day the day we reach out and try and make people feel good about something that, you know, actually matters to them? And take that a step forward. I think most people say it's a Hallmark holiday because they're just feel spited about the whole thing. Feel like maybe they don't have any way to love or no love to share or no one will actually know how they feel. If that's the case, think about it in two ways. One, go out, find love, because there's no such thing as being unloved because it's there no matter what. Call me nostalgic. Two, if you can't find love, take the words from one Stephen Stills. Love the one you're with. That's it for today. <laughs> to quote Sarah Franco, if you wanted to see something funny, you should have just gone and seen a comedy. Yeah, we got deep one week. Deal with it. Have a great Friday, everybody. End. End. <laughs> Learning to live with senior riders. It first struck me in third period chemistry. I was at football practice. I was just about to light my Bunsen burner when all of a sudden, kablamo! I started giggling. That was just me getting all antsy and excited. I didn't blow up the chem lab. It was a high-pitched giggle, like a chipmunk. I've never felt that way before. It was strangely exhilarating. I never thought it could happen to me. Senior Ride This can happen to anyone, but there is hope. There is a cure. Talk to your school advisor.